Hi guys, today I'm here today with a different composition notebook. I am going to be making this into a different kind of notebook for me. It's still going to be a glue book and it's just going to be a different type that I have done yet. Um, I did start this like two years ago to make sort of like a fatty patty type thing the way that Dawn does at Let's Make a Mess today. But I was really hating how it was turning out and I just stopped working in it. But now I'm going to work in it again. But my plan with this is this right here is one of those um, those like cubes that you can get from Walmart or the Dollar Tree. And it's just filled with random things that could be put in a glue book like stickers and uh, index cards and random pockets and just random papers and stuff. So I'm just gonna pull out like stuff for backgrounds and flip open a page and just glue it down. And there's there gonna be no rhyme or reason. There's gonna be no like opening up and completing a spread. I am just gonna glue stuff down wherever I open up the page at. And let's start with this stuff. So this is just a plain index card that I'm gonna actually use wet glue for. Or I don't know what it is actually. Packaging of some sort or a plain index card, I do not know. But, let's get her started. I've been wanting to start this for a while. Just never did. Um, probably going to try to cover up most of these pages first. But, like I said, I don't want to go in too much of like an order or anything. So I'm just going to grab things. Open a page, find a page. Glue them down. This actually... Oh wait, never mind. Okay, this is fine. This can be a pocket, okay. So I am going to actually just use a glue stick on this. These are new to me glue sticks. They're Walmart brand pen and pen gear. So I hope that they stick well. They were relatively cheap. I think I got like 12 of them for 350 or something like that. Haven't used them yet, but we're gonna find out how they do now. So we'll put this, we'll put this right here. Oh, they seem to stick well. And then this is a pocket so I can find something to put in there whenever I open up to this page again. And since I have this orange one out, let's open it up and glue this down. I should get a magazine out to glue on because since I will be flipping around, I don't want the pages to get in stuck together if I get some glue on a page accidentally. So this, no rhyme or reason, it's just a orange piece of paper. Um, we'll go here, pull something else out. I got a little sticky note, so let's put one of these down. I have no idea how long this book is going to take me to make, but it's just going to be a fun one where I'm not going to think about it. Um, I'm not going to put anything like personal in here, like cards or anything like that, that have been sent to me or whatever. I have a different glue book for those, for like more personal stuff, like my own glue book. This is just like a fun way to use up things that I have a whole bunch of, you know. I also... So once all the backgrounds are filled up and whatever on these pages, I have a small bag of, I have a bag of smaller things that will be part of the foreground. So those obviously won't be used today. But this is a plain envelope. I'll put this down um, over here. I will use regular glue for this. Actually, maybe I'll make this. A little tuck as well so that way I will I'll only glue this part and this part and then I can tuck something in this as well and I'll put it as close to the edge of the page as possible there we go so I got that glued down and I will have a little tuck spot right there. Um, a bingo sheet. Sure, let's put a bingo sheet right here on this page. Why not? 
There are no rules in this glue book. Well, there are no rules in any of my glue books, really. Except for my prompt one. I would like that to be just prompts. Can't say that it will be, though, because I really haven't gotten very many responses. Um, I think I probably have maybe 7 to 10 right now. And I've only done two, so I'm, I'm behind on those. Well, not really. Like, there's no schedule. So, how about some money? Put some money... We'll put that on another front page. How about we put it on the page that's already pretty green? And next time I do this, I will get out a magazine to glue on, so that way I'm not risking sticking my pages together. But even if they stick together right now, that's all right. They'll unstick pretty easily. This glue's not, like, insanely sticky, so it'll be okay. And yes, I know I am covering up this stuff because I want to. I don't like whatever the heck I was doing with them. I don't really know what I was planning on doing with them, but I don't like them now, so I'm covering them up. Oh, these are cute stickers. Can't use those yet, though. Um, what else do I got in here? Of course, a lot of stickers. Um, here's some random things. Put these out. This glittery Christmas pack page. I try not to make these videos too, too long. I guess we'll just see how long I feel like playing. I don't know. Since I'm kind of in the swing of it right now, I don't mind it. We'll put this one right here. And it's kind of a thicker page, so that's why I used the wet glue. It's felt. It's like felt. This came from like a Walmart paper pack, I think. Walmart scrap pack, whatever they're called. So did this. Um, let's go right here. So this is pretty much the same on both sides, so it doesn't matter which side I glue. I really, really enjoy watching Dawn at Let's Make a Mess Today, working her fatty patty. Um, she's, hers are awesome. She's awesome. I just, I like her as a person. She's fun to watch and listen to. This card says, in a world full of trends, always remain a classic. And it is double-sided, so I think we find that pocket page. And see, this one kind of stuck together already, but that's okay. I'm going to put it... Oh, no, will it fit? Oh, yeah, it will fit. Okay, nice. So I already got a pocket or a page. I already have something in that pocket, if I could work my words today. Let me find that envelope. And let me put this... Ooh, there's really not much room in there, is there? Um, I'll never mind that. I, I want to put this in a pocket, so I'm not going to glue it down. I got some Snoopy Post-its. Let me put one of these down somewhere. Right here on this page. My chair is squeaky, or creaky. It's kind of annoying me. I think I said that in my last videos, too think I would do something about it but the chair was like $40 so I don't want to spend another $40 just because it's a little creak creakety the next one that I got probably would be too so no sense in it put my cat back on my glue before it spills everywhere let's glue this side because there's less white um, so far, I'm happy with this glue, these glue sticks. Pen and gear from Walmart, not too bad. Since, since it seems like the Dollar Tree quit selling their eight packs of the Jot um, glue sticks, this is probably the best that I can find at a store without like looking on Amazon or whatever. 
Um, this is a piece of cardstock, so I am going to use wet glue. And it, in here is just a little bit of uh, watered down tacky glue. Just a little bit watered down to make it a little thinner and spread further. Um, let's put this one right here, right there. How long is this video so far? 10 minutes, not bad at all. Um, I already used money, so I'm not gonna use money today. I'm not gonna put this tag down. Oh, wait, I will put this tag down because here's a pocket for it. Perfect, oh, that is very perfect. So let's find somewhere for it to go. Oh wait, I don't want this whole thing to be a pocket, silly me. Probably could have just used glue stick on this, but I'm not sure what I was doing there. It's already a pocket, so I don't need to make it into another pocket. So we'll put it right there. Perfect. And heck, I've, I'll put a thousand bucks in it. Everybody likes to have a thousand bucks in their pocket, right? Let's keep these dollars out. What's this? Oh, this is also um, sticky notes somehow. Sheesh. Okay, there we go. Ooh, very sticky. Maybe I will just... Okay, that was a little better, but not really. I'm going to put this on this pocket. Some pink construction paper. We'll put that back here. Perfect. And right there. And here's a little um mastering money um flashcard. I'm not gonna use that because I don't want to glue it down. I want it to go in a pocket. What's this? This is recipes for pastry, a one-sided piece of paper. My cat really wants to jump up on me, and I hope that she doesn't, because there is no room for her on this lap right now. Sorry, Patches. Oh, she's going to try. Ooh, she's really going to try. Nope. She tried once, and then she heard me yell, and she stepped back. Good kitty. She wanted to, though. We'll put this right here. What's this? That's something that my mom got. Some um, Dr. Seuss cut apart thingies from the Dollar Tree. So I cut it in half and I will put it right here. Right here. I don't know how fat this book's going to get because I'm trying not to actually take any papers out and I'm not going to be going over the spine too much. I will in some places so that way, like I already did on in this book already when I first made it and I wish I wouldn't have because it kind of made it awkward, but you live and learn and it's not so bad. I don't want to use that. What is this? Oh, geez, a whole bunch of sticky notes. I don't want to use these. I will use the kitty cat. I'm not sleeping. I'm just cat-like. Not sure where these came from. Probably my mom's. Okay. Got that glued. 
and we'll put it right here. Perfect, right there. I think when I do this next time, I'm gonna grab some washi tape and go around some of the edges of the pages so that way it's like I got colorful edges. I should have done that first, but I forgot that I wanted to do that until just now. But that's all right. Um, how about right here? I have this butterfly page from another page I used. And we'll put this one sideways over here. Try to get this glue off. This is a very cool pocket thing that um, I think Xena made for my mom in a swap. I'm not gonna put it in here though because it's got pockets on both sides. So this is gonna have to go in like a much bigger pocket. It might not even go in this book at all. I'm not sure. It's just in my glue book bin because that's where I put it, I guess. So we'll use this blue paper on the center and right there. And then I'll use this yellow one somewhere, somewhere back here. Not sure if I'm gonna do this whole book on camera. I might do some off camera, but we'll see. Cause I already have a glue book that I'm working on completely off camera. So I probably will do this whole one on camera. And let's get another little batch of thingies out and that'll probably be it for this video. We'll get like this many thingies. Uh, this is just a calendar page. I don't wanna use that. This is a Project Life card that I'm not gonna use either. Well, this is getting easy so far if I don't want to use anything. It's not the right time for some of these things. But this heart page, definitely time. Always time for hearts. I think these are also... I'm not gonna use the hearts. Think of something pretty. Well, it used to say think of something pretty, but it got cut. Oopsies. How about, will this go right there? Yes, it will. We're gonna put that right on there. So that way it's not a plain white envelope anymore. Oops. Got a little bit too much glue on it, but that's okay. There. Perfect. Oh, there it is. Think of something pretty. So I'll put this right here. And it'll go right here for no reason at all. And this is a some kind of blue dyed paper. And I'll try to put it over all that glue that I just did. This is kind of a heavier piece I should have used wet glue, but that's okay. Now let's go back up to the front and cover up some more of that crap. This is a Kool-Aid dyed um, book page that I made a long time ago. Put that right there. Basi Oops, that has a bad word. Let me switch that out real quick. Sorry, I did not realize that. 
Um, let's go right here and put this plain pink piece of paper down. Plain pink piece of paper. All the peas. Put you right there. Here's another dyed dictionary page. There is a Anubis, 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 whatever that is on the page, but it's a picture, so I'll use it. We'll put it right here. The Anubis may end up getting covered up, but that's okay. Don't want to use that, don't want to use that. Oh, this is like a piece of foily paper. Let's put that right here. I'm gonna use wet glue for this one. Don't really know how well it will take up a glue stick. So we'll do that and I'll put you right there. And I think I'm gonna call that a video guys. I got a lot glued down randomly on here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and are liking the randomness of it and not making spreads just putting stuff anywhere so yeah that's that that's this is my crazy flippity floppy composition book and i will see you in the next video bye